Hey, 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 Capricorn, this is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, October 29th to October 30th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. For those of you who are returning to my channel, welcome back. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. And for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate all your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Okay. Spirit, what can you tell me about Capricorn and love? Oh, Cappies, you're walking away from something or someone. 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 And they just said it's been a long time coming. Clarify this Eight of Cups. Who are they walking away from? Tell me who they're walking away from. And get a little bit more info for you, Cappies. I love this card in this deck. This is a witch's the, the, the witch's tarot deck. Okay. Tell me who are they walking away from? Oh, this is a twist. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. This is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. But this is a thief. This is somebody who's cheating. It could be that somebody cheated on you. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Now you know I have to clarify the Seven of Swords. Because I hate this, this card. It's my least favorite card in the deck. So conniving somebody trying to get away with something that you're walking away with I'm feeling cheating now I am feeling cheating hmm okay tell me more tell me more oh hang on interesting my phone. Okay. Okay. Huh. Yeah. See? Cheating. Knight of Wands. Playboy, playgirl energy. This is somebody who's in and out even quicker. You find truth and clarity revolving around this person that hmm, you thought was loyal, apparently. They could have been a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Who's walking into your life is the High Priestess. This is Gemini or Pisces energy for me as a reader. And this is somebody who's very intuitive, who listens to their intuition in relation to love is very in touch with their spiritual side. This is also a twin flame uh, card from me. Let me, I have to show you this card from this deck because it's so pretty, this Eight of Cups. It's just so pretty, I love the colors. Okay, I mean the card itself is sad, you know, you get somebody walking away, but it's pretty. Okay, whoever it is that's coming towards you, wow. They are doing very well in their pentacles. Ten of pentacles here. They are very happy and content within their life. And the strength card. They're looking for the courage to come towards you. Either that or they're trying to tame the beast. This is the card of Leo. They could have Leo in their chart. Also, you have another eight here. So you have 88, and I consider the high priestess an 11 sometimes because it, it looks like an 11, although it's a two. For me, it just screams um, some cards. Oh, you have, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's see how you respond to this person walking in Capricorn. How do you respond? 
How do you respond to this person walking into your life, Kathy? Oh, the tower. They could be... Uh, sorry, my nose itches whenever um, information is coming in. So, the tower energy is when something comes in and just rocks your world. This could be a total shock. Clarify this tower. Ten of swords. Do they know this person? Okay, this is a person that you already know, apparently, and uh, maybe you're not too keen on them because you have the Ten of Swords here. This could be a person where you felt that you were stabbed in the back and betrayed by Cappies. What did they do? Clarify this Tower and the Ten of Swords. Nine of Pentacles, that's a single card. Ah, in the shadow side, this is the devil card. This is your card, Capricorn. They became single. Maybe they left you because of temptation somewhere else. The devil card I'm always associating um, not only with Capricorn, but it's a very sexual vibe for me. There's a lot of darkness over here. The only light energy over here is really the Nine of Pentacles, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. But this is the single card. This is being very happy and content, being independent, autonomous, very well off in their um, Pentacles. Okay, so... This is why this person needs strength to come towards you. Hmm, so how do they respond to your response? I want to know that. How do they respond to your response? Jeez, you're walking away from one. <laughs> and then another comes back who betrayed you before. That's some drama, Cappies. Okay. The Magician. They want to manifest something with you, Capricorn. They're going to try to. And how do you respond to this? Oh my God, I could go on and on with this saga. How does Capricorn respond to this magician energy? Them wanting to manifest something with you. Oh, that makes you happy. This is the Leo card. And this is also a past life card. This person is definitely from a past life. This person makes you happy. This person makes you feel childlike, Capricorn. There's good, despite the Ten of Swords and the Tower energy and whatnot, I think it makes you happy that they want to manifest something with you. I'm not feeling bad intentions here. Let me ask, what is this person's intentions with Capricorn? What is this person's intentions um, wanting to step to Capricorn and manifest. What is this person's intentions coming back in? The Five of Wands, the Moon card, and Judgment. Okay. So... With the Five of Wands energy here, I'm feeling that they do not want to fight anymore. This could have been an issue in the past, seeing as how this person is from the past. They want to reveal some things that were hidden. They want to bring things to light, and they want a reconciliation. This is the Judgment card. This also tells me Archangel Michael is looking over this union. This also talks about balance. You have a 20 here that breaks down to a 2. The High Priestess is also a 2. So there's balance that's wanting to be had between the two of you. But they want to reconcile with you. They want, they've had some epiphanies, Michael is saying. 
and they want to illuminate you on some of these um, epiphanies that they've had. These epiphanies could range from themselves to both of you to all of the above. Okay, so let's get a final verdict as to what the future holds for you two. Wow. Wow. That's all I have to say. What's ahead for Capricorn and this individual? Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune. That's Jupiter and Luck. The Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Okay. Communication is going to be important in mending this relationship if you decide to reconcile. There is luck in this as this is the wheel of karma. And this will begin to turn and they're saying speed up in the direction that it's supposed to. With the page of swords here, I think... <laughs> You'll be doing a little bit of spying because of based on your past experiences with them whatever tower moment occurred with you in this individual but the knight of swords there is communication from them coming in very quickly and there may be communi fast communication between the both of you coming uh, happening very fast well capricorn it looks positive, it feels okay, but I just, I get the feeling of a lot of work to be had within this particular uh, relationship here. So it'll be up to you what you do with this information, if it resonates. So if it resonates, please Capricorn, drop a like below, share and subscribe and comment. Let me know what your story is. You have yourself a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow.